Unveiling the musical phrase, understanding, play Arco. Hello, everyone. Today we're diving into a phrase that might tickle the curiosity of both language learners and music enthusiasts alike, play Arco. This term may not be commonly used in everyday conversation, but it holds significant importance in the world of music. So, whether you're an aspiring musician, a language aficionado, or simply here to add a new expression to your vocabulary, this video is for you. Let's explore together what it means to play ARCO and how it is used in context. The term, play ARCO, comes from a very specific context. Stringed instrument performance, particularly those played with a bow like the violin, viola, cello, and double bass. Arco is an Italian term that translates to bow in English. So, when musicians are instructed to play arco, they are being told to use the bow to produce sound from their instrument. This may seem straightforward, but the magic of music lies in its nuances. To play arco means to engage in a technique where the bow is drawn across the strings in a way that creates a smooth, sustained sound, which is the very essence of bowing instruments. To fully understand the meaning of play arco, it's helpful to know its counterpart, pizzicato. Pizzicato is another Italian word that instructs string players to pluck the strings with their fingers, producing a short, percussive sound. It's the antithesis of arco. This contrast is essential because it highlights the versatility of string instruments and the variety of sounds they can produce. When a music piece transitions from pizzicato to arco, Players resume using the bow, returning to that fluid, lyrical quality that defines stringed instruments. In an orchestral setting, the decision to play arco is usually not up to the player's discretion. Composers specify this in the music score with the word, arco, or by simply notating a passage without any special pizzicato markings. Musicians must be adept at switching between arco and other playing techniques to express the intended emotion and dynamic of the piece. For English language learners, particularly those interested in music, understanding terms like play arco is vital. It is not just about adding a word to your vocabulary. It's about grasping the cultural and artistic nuances that language carries. When learning instrument-specific terms, one delves into the history and tradition of musical expression. Play Arco is just one example of how language transcends mere communication and ventures into the realm of artistic technique and expression. Thank you for joining me in unraveling the meaning behind Play Arco. I hope this video has not only enriched your English vocabulary but also given you a glimpse into the fascinating world of musical techniques. If you enjoyed this exploration, please stay tuned for more interesting insights into language and music. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.